Firefighters and paramedics respond to any number of traumatic events every day. Just one incident can be enough to trigger symptoms of post-traumatic stress. But more often than not, symptoms begin to show as a result of the accumulative effect of the incredible emotional and physical work our members do. Symptoms can include repeated recollections or dreams about a stressful event, intense feelings of grief when reminded of the trauma, and difficulty functioning and performing day-to-day -day tasks. If this sounds familiar, you are not alone. Post-traumatic stress affects firefighters and paramedics at double the rate of the general population. We have two programs that are coming out from the IFF. Looking at uh, what sort of things contribute to stress. We know that treatment is critical and can make a life or death difference. According to a number of studies, people with post-traumatic stress are six times more likely to commit suicide. While some fire departments have programs that do a good job of addressing behavioral health, most do not. Uh, doesn't know any borders. We have to identify it early. The IFF is filling that void by developing resources and tools designed to help affiliates and members recognize the signs and symptoms of post-traumatic stress and provide ways to ensure that members in need get assistance. If you or someone you know has symptoms, help is available. In addition, this fall, we'll be rolling out an online behavioral health awareness module available to all members. And we will launch a beta test of a behavioral health peer training program to help affiliates form peer support assistant programs and develop their own best practices and guidelines to take action when signs of post-traumatic stress or other behavioral health issues emerge. We're also very active in working with state and provincial leaders to push for the passage of presumption laws. These laws ensure firefighters and paramedics are covered as a job-related illness under workers' compensation if they develop post-traumatic stress. To date, just a few states and provinces have passed legislation. If you are experiencing signs and symptoms, or know someone who may be suffering from post-traumatic stress, it is important to seek help. Contact the IAFF Health and Safety Division at the number on the screen or visit our website for additional information.